was a day of intrigue and drama at the Harare High Court today as Sengezo Chabangu, the man who has single-handedly brought main opposition Triple C to its knees, tried to convince the court that he was indeed the party's secretary general. Through his lawyers, Louis Uriri and Ngobani Stole, Chabangu dropped a bombshell arguing that Triple C was nothing but a rebranded MDC alliance and was not a new party as alleged by its leader Nelson Chamisa. He presented his arguments before High Court Judge Justice Tawanda Chitapi. Well, as everybody knows that uh, today the Triple C, this is the Senge the Chabangu matter was being held. Both parties have made arguments. And one of the things that is clear from what has happened in court is that there are two constitutions. One that uh, Senges Ochavang has brought in his opposing affidavit, and the other one that has been brought by the purported Triple C in their answering affidavit. So the court must make a determination on those two constitutions, which one carries the day. It's a mountain high task to climb. Are you confident you make it? Indeed. We are, we are very confident. They argued that Shawangu is not part of Triple C and Geo. Argument regarding that? They say he's an imposter. Well, that argument has been ongoing. And I don't think it's, not going, it's going to stop anytime soon. The court must make a determination on that. But you just cannot just like allege for the sake of it. You have to put, present evidence into it. One of the things that they have done, and uh, successfully so, is not to prove that he's an imposter. If uh, one has uh, read the opposing affidavit, it's detailed. Like I said yesterday, it's 187 pages. All these things started on the 21st day of February uh, 2022, when the MDCA rebranded itself into Triple C. Triple C did not come from the blue. It moved into, uh, from MDCA into Triple C. So that's where the genesis of everything came. That's where all these office bearers came from. That's why even Nelson today will say that, look, I'm the president of the party. If one uh, uh, would want to be sincere, I don't think there's anyone who has voted him to be the president of Triple C in an, a, an election within Triple C. So there was a process that led to that. And it is that process that gave birth to all these other office bearers. Now, there is this uh, issue about uh, the Peru changes, sorry, the Perus for this and that and that. This is something new that is cropping up just because certain individuals are trying to run away from a certain uh, position. So Chalam is not an imposter? Not at all, not at all. Not who, at all. who appointed him to be the interim SG? Like I'm saying, there was a process that came from point A to point B and it's detailed in the notice of opposition. No, no one has been appointed to be what they are, but there was a process that led to what everyone claims to be today. As much as Nelson Chamisa is. So Chabangwen. Lawyer Obey Shava, who appeared for Triple C, argued that there was no relationship between the Triple C and the MDC Alliance, which is now under the control of Douglas Mwanzora. Addressing a document presented to court by Chabangu as the Triple C Constitution, Shava said it was a paper from nowhere prepared to deceive the courts. In his submissions, Shawa further argued that Chabangu did not field any candidates in the August 23-24 general elections, but is simply an imposter who wants to harvest where he did not put any effort. Justice Chitapi, after hearing the submissions, reserved judgment to consider the submissions presented to him. Just after the court session, Shawa spoke to members of the press. Uh, we appeared before Justice Chapi, arguing our matter where uh, Triple C is um, alleging that uh, uh, 
Chabangu is not its representative official. He has no authority to represent it in any forum. He has no authority to recall any members elected on a triple C uh, party ticket from parliament uh, or council. So that application was opposed. Of course, that is why we were there for hours arguing, trying to place our case before the judge. And after hearing argument from uh, both parties, the judge said, uh, this is an important matter which uh, deserves uh, more time for him to go through the submissions and the papers filed of record before delivering uh, the determination. So the judgment was reserved. So when is the judgment? It was reserved. It can be any time soon. It can be uh, uh, released tomorrow, a day after tomorrow. Uh, we, we can't really tell. That's the meaning of uh, it being reserved. What are your arguments? Well, 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 well. Um, I, I won't get into details because um, I don't want to appear to be re arguing the case and as well as uh, influencing the, the court. But our argument is very simple. We don't know Chabangu. We don't know where he comes from. He must go back uh, to, to that area that, uh, that he comes from. He doesn't belong to Triple C. In essence, that's our argument. The Chitapi judgment will have a major effect on the survival of Triple C as the main opposition political party in the country and will also be important in the face of recalls across the country which were occasioned by Chabangu. If the court rules in favor of Chabangu, this could all but make it very difficult for Triple C to survive for the next five years as its parliamentarians will now be at the mercy of a secretary general who is trigger happy and has in a space of a month reversed all the gains made by the Triple C against Sano PF in the just ended disputed elections. Reporting for HSTV News and Current Affairs, Gaddafi Wells.